If you've ever been into self-recycling, you've probably come across a method for recycling grocery bags with an iron. And what you do is you press it with an iron and you make these thin plastic sheets. Uh, they're a lot of fun. You can, there's, there's cool projects you can do with them. Uh, they got a, they got a great thickness to them. And it's a great project, but I hate the iron. I don't like it. I've never gotten good results. Um, it, it, it's way too slow. You've really got to go to like a lower temperature. So I've been working on another method. So th this is a different method of processing, uh, this plastic. And uh, it, these, turning these grocery bags into something useful, but by saving a lot of time. Now, they're, they're not perfect. These, these look really good, um, but there's, they're a little inconsistent. They're a little, uh, there's different thicknesses going on. Uh, see, it's like really weak right here. But I was able to do a whole bunch of these at once. So it's definitely a time saver. And the thing with these bags is they add up quickly. Um, okay, so it's a really simple method. First of all, we're going to start with silicone baking mats. Don't mess with parchment paper. I've, I've done the whole parchment paper thing. It, it's a waste of time. You know, sometimes it burns, sometimes it bonds to the plastic. I, I just don't really like it. Um, silicone is the way to go. <laughs> uh, you're going you're to learn that when messing with HDP, the best thing you could do is go for a silicone solution because it's just uh, the plastic doesn't bond to it and it's, it's so much better. Uh, but keep in mind, anything that you do use for plastic, obviously don't use for cooking because you will get some stuff like left over. So you don't want to be missing plastic with your food. So I have a cookie sheet that um, I only use for recycling plastic. It's really just kind of to make a base for the silicone. It's actually not really needed, but uh, for this, uh, definitely go with, you're going to need the cookie sheet. Uh, this is an Amazon uh, silicone baking mat. It's a much thicker silicone. It costs about $8.00. But what I'm mainly going to be showing you that I really like are these. It's a much uh, thinner silicone sheet, and it's like copper. Here we go. Uh, now, I got these at my dollar store for like $3, so it's $1.50 for two. Uh, great deal. They're, they're meant for like barbecuing, uh, but basically they're, they're silicone sheets. Plastic doesn't stick to them at all. Um, they're fantastic. So try and see if you can find some of those. But this method is super simple. Oh, that's great. So first thing you're going to do is, um, you'll notice I was actually trying to get consistent images out of the plastic. Take what you want, lay that down flat in the middle. Normally I try not to touch the edges here, uh, but eh, I really want this one to, to be flat. And then I'll add two more bags behind it. Now, you can do more or maybe less, but I found that three is the best. Because when you, when you do three bags, you get this nice, great consistency. When you do more, though, you start running into problems. Like, this, this is about six bags. It, it, it gets a lot more uneven. It's thicker, so if that's what you want, I guess six bags kind of works. Um, but ten bags, you run into trouble. You start getting holes, and I think that's because there's so much more plastic that it gives the plastic time to shrink and shrivel and warp. Um, and so I got like nice thicker pieces here, but it's way more inconsistent. Um, yeah, so useful if you want, but um, three bags seems to be the best result for me. So anyway, three, three bags, throw down a layer, let's get another image going here. I want that one. Uh, I'm going to throw two more bags behind it. Again, the direction, it doesn't really matter. Um, just kind of keep throwing it down. Hmm. Oh, well, this one. Throw a brown one behind that one. See how that turns out. Anyway, you get the idea. So, place them in the oven like this. Place another cookie sheet on top. Uh, the one that I placed on top is actually slightly smaller, but it's enough for like the the sheets that I'm trying to make. Um, but I guess you could probably use the same size. It doesn't matter. But you're gonna place them in the oven. Uh, put another something 
not heavy, but like another cookie sheet on top, so metal, so that like it dis evenly distributes the heat, the heat, and adds a slight bit of pressure down. You just need a little bit. When you pull it out of the oven, though, press it flat. Uh, you know, maybe put something heavy on top. It's not necessary, but again, you're going to get better results. And you should get something like this. And the edges will be frayed, but that's okay. Because it can just be easily trimmed off. Now, the reason I don't really care about the perfect consistency is because, me personally, I'm trying to go for specific images. Like, slices right through. Anyway, that's how I make your nice little rectangles. But say I wanted like a particular image, like I'm trying to find like the recycling symbols or that nice Texas right there, maybe that star. Um, but yeah, if I wanted this, I can cut it out and I can now melt that symbol right into another project. So that's why I don't really care so much about the consistency or whether or not it's perfect. But it's definitely fast. You, uh, oh, you put it in at 350 degrees, in case you don't know. Uh, we prepare HDPE, that's this type of plastic, at 350 degrees because it doesn't release any toxic fumes at that temperature. And yeah, and then you've got your nice sheet that you can do projects and stuff with. And I suppose if you wanted it to be thicker, maybe you can make a bunch of these and then press them together and then smash them together. Anyway, maybe we'll try that another time. But, uh, yeah, it's a great method. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go make some more stuff.